Robot, move forward. Robot, stop. Hi there, I'm Professor E. I'm DJ Schurz. And this is the Robot Program. In this episode, we're going to introduce the basics of speech recognition and how you can use verbal commands to control your robot. So we have all these robots in front of us, DJ, why? Because this exercise will apply to all of the Revolution Easy Robots. So we've got Rolly 6 and even AdventureBot in this video. You bet. So any of the Easy Robot Revolution robots can, with the Easy Builder software, respond to speech recognition commands. And in this episode, we're going to use JD. We are. How do we get started? To get started, we're going to, of course, turn our JD on, lie him down, and we want to load up our Easy Builder software. And we'll skip going to robot school. And we have to load the example project for your robot. So if you have an adventure bot, you're going to load adventure bot bear. If you have six, you're going to load six bear, Rolly bear, and of course, JD bear. So we'll select the JD bear here. And the bear projects give you a nice clean workspace to start from. You bet. And if you have a fine tuned profile, you're going to want to select that. And next, you want to connect to your robot's Wi Fi network. And again, we have him lie down so we can push the connect button and he'll initialize. There we go. Okay, so he's in the initialization position. He is. It's good to go. And like always, we start off the episode. Let's get him to stand up. Excellent. There we go. Because your microphone built into your laptop may pick up false positives, Easy Robot recommends using an external microphone. And I happen to have one here. This is an example of an external microphone which you can plug into your computer, which has much higher quality for hearing. So it's going to hear the speech recognition commands much better. Now we're not going to demo with this. We're going to continue demoing with the microphone built in the, in the laptop. But if you do want to have a much higher quality recognition, we definitely recommend an external microphone. And you'll just speak into that instead of speaking into your PC? You bet. And you can also have it closer to you, which is going to make a pretty big difference. What we're going to do is we're going to add the speech recognition control to our project. And there it is here. As you can see, it's loaded. And we have a gear. We can push on the gear. And it's going to show us all of the commands that are built in to the speech recognition control. As you can see here, we have robot move forward, robot stop. So let's try those out. So these ones already exist. You can use them right off the bat. They already exist. Okay. So we're going to try just robot move forward. Robot move forward. Robot stop. Robot stop. Now here's a good example of the robot not responding to the robot stop. So we'll push the stop button to have the robot stop from walking. Okay. Now. Because it didn't hear me, and you can see it says low confidence, robot stop, and it says 0.66%. That's because the computer was only 66% uh, confident that it heard what I was going to say. So we have a value from 0 to 1, but 1 acts like 100%. You bet. So what we can do is, if you don't have an external mic, and you want to compensate for the microphone inside of your computer not being that great, what we can do is we can click on the gear, and at the top, it'll say confidence. This is the minimal confidence value that will register for the command that it thinks it heard. So right now we're at 87%. 87. It's pretty high. So we saw 0.66. That means we're going to probably want to bring this down to around, we'll make bring it down to 0 0.60. Now, it will work, but if I'm just talking out loud like I'm talking right now, it may pick up some commands or think I'm saying something that might pick up some commands. So right now, it seems to be doing pretty good. So let's try this again. Okay. Robot, move forward. Robot, stop. Robot, stop. There we go. There we go. OK. Now, you are speaking to the computer, not the robot, because the microphone is in the computer, not inside the robot. So we can now add some additional commands to make the robot do something. All right. So all these robots will respond with robot, move forward, robot, stop. <laughs> There's an example. Oh, and he got stopped too. <laughs> he did. So what we can do is we can click the gear button here. And now we have all these different phrases that have already, like we mentioned earlier, been default added. So we can add one in here where we can say, robot, say hello. And now the command to the right of it, what we'll do is we'll click on the pencil button. 
and we're using the Blockly interface. And we can click on audio, say EZB, text, and drag the text down and say, hello, it is nice to meet you. And we can save that. So what's going to happen is when it, the robot speech recognition hears the phrase robot say hello, it's going to execute that piece of code. Here we go. Robot say hello. Hello, it is nice to meet you. Good. Good. And what was our confidence interval? Our confidence was 0.86. So that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now we can click on the gear again and let's add some additional stuff to make this robot maybe wave when he says. Sounds good. Okay. Now I'm going to click on the same robot say hello on the pencil button here. So you're editing your existing script. I am. And I can select movement because we want to run a movement that's pre-built into the, uh, the project here. And I'm going to choose the auto position. This one here. Notice it doesn't say wait. I'm just going to choose this regular one. And I'll put it above. And I'll choose wave. Now, if you have an adventure bot, you don't have the ability to wave. So you're going to have to skip this step. But if you have a 6 or a roll E or a JD, then you will have a wave auto position command and you can add that in. So now because we've put the auto position command ahead of his text, but we didn't say wait, he's going to wave and then start speaking. And he he'll will. be waving while he's speaking. So we're going to choose save and save again. And now we can try it one more time. Robot, say hello. Hello, it is nice to meet you. All right, so now we've added some... Hello, it is nice to meet you. <laughs> this was a good example of how he's picking up false positives. As I talk, he's picking up things that I actually didn't say that he thought... I he might have heard me say. He's just really excited to meet you. That's right, he is. So if you are going to be using an external microphone, you're going to find that the speech recognition is going to pick up your voice much better than it would be if you just spoke into the microphone on your computer. Okay, so let's try it with Professor E's voice. Okay, so we'll see if there's a difference in between different types of voices. Okay. Robot, say hello. Hello, it is nice to meet you. And it was at 0.70. So that was pretty good. That's good. That's, that's above the confidence nice. interval that we set. Yeah. So shall we add one more speech command to this project? Absolutely. All right. So let's go in here again. And let's have, say, robot do a trick. Ooh. Now we'll click on the gear. And we're going to go to movement. And the trick I'm thinking about that only JD can do, however, is a headstand. Everybody has their own trick that they could do, though. That's right. So depending on your robot, choose your favorite trick. So we'll save this. We'll save this. And we'll put them here so you can get ready to do it. Now, why don't you do the honors? Okay. Robot, do a trick. There he goes. He's doing it. Excellent Nice. Work. Excellent work. So there you go. So you can get creative and add your own speech recognition commands and have different actions or the robot speak in response to whatever it is that you ask it to do. In this episode, we showed you how to use speech recognition to control and interact with your robot. As always, start with a freshly charged robot. You can use any of the Revolution robots for this exercise, but we use JD as an example. Load the Easy Builder software and open the Bear project for your robot. The Bear project is a nice clean workspace that only provides minimal controls, allowing you to customize your workspace as required. Connect to the robot using the Wi-Fi connection and click the blue connect button to initialize. You'll need to add the speech recognition control to your workspace. To do this, go to the project menu, add controls, and find speech recognition under the audio tab. Click on the gear icon to view the existing commands. You can test out some of these existing commands, and these are commands that the robots already recognize. When using speech recognition, remember to speak into the computer microphone, not the EZB. All of the audio input is going through the computer. At Easy Robot, we recommend using an external quality microphone for better speech recognition accuracy. In the speech recognition control window, you'll see that a confidence interval is provided every time the robot is listening for a phrase. This confidence interval is a number from zero to one. Zero means that the robot is not confident about what it heard, whereas one represents that it's 100% confident. 
So if you have a number like 0.87, it means that the robot is 87% confident in the phrase that it detected. If you're having trouble having your phrases recognized, you can lower the confidence interval for your robot. Click on the gear icon, and at the very top, you'll see a confidence value with a slider. Use that drop-down menu to lower the confidence value. If your confidence value is too low, you may get false positives. You can add your own custom phrase to the list of phrases that are available. Underneath the list of existing phrases, click on the empty space and type in your desired phrase, such as, Robot say hello. You can then add a script using Blockly by clicking on the pencil icon. Using the Blockly editor, we can make all sorts of scripts that execute once the robot hears our voice saying the designated phrase. So for example, you can go into audio and add, say, easy B, and then add whatever text you want the robot to say in response to the command that you give it. For example, hello, it is nice to meet you, would be the response to robot say hello. You can also add movement, you can add actions, and you can make the script as creative as you want it to be. You can do auto position movements before your robot speaks, in which case it will execute the movement while it's speaking. Or you can use a wait command in which the robot will fully complete the auto position movement before it goes on to speaking. Save your script and return to the control window. You can now test the script by providing the trigger phrase to your robot. Your robot should be able to recognize the phrase no matter whose voice is speaking, so get a friend to try it and see if it still works. Speech recognition is a fun way to interact with your robot. Thanks for watching this episode, and we'll see you next time. What does the confidence interval signify? What is a false positive? What is the advantage of using a higher quality external microphone? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.